everyone, I just got my new smart battery camera and I'm excited to open up the box, test it out, and show you exactly how it works. So it comes in a wide variety of colors. I did just get the standard black color, but you do have a few to choose from. It's completely wire free. It has a vent detection. It has this 1080 pixel HD and it is weatherproof. So you don't have to worry about this camera being outside in extreme temperatures and snow and rain. It's gonna be perfectly fine. Here are just a few of the other features on the box, but I'm gonna talk about all of these as we open up. For example, the two-way audio, the waterproof, we already mentioned that. It is perfect for outside. Night vision, it has color night vision, and it also has infrared night vision. Just so many different um, little perks of this camera. So I'm gonna open it up and show you everything that comes inside. All right. So the first thing we see is another box and this has the camera inside. So it does come with a quick start guide. So those are always useful because you can get the camera up and running right away. Just some quick little information about where the power button is, where the micro SD card goes. This camera can work with cloud storage or it can work with an SD card. So you have two different options. You can scan that QR code, get the app and get everything up and running right away. So it has everything that you need to know in here about how to get it started. Um, and we're gonna go through all of that as well. So here is the camera itself. You can see it's nice and compact, super small, fits in the palm of my hand. Um, it has this nice protective coating on it, which um, we'll just peel that off. It's just to keep it scratch free during shipping. Um, again, you can see how small it is that it'll be able to go anywhere outside, inside your house. It does also work really great as like a nanny cam or for your nursery. And on the bottom here, you'll see, let's open this up. So this is where the power button is and where the SD card can go and um, also the charger cord. So this is completely wireless. It does work on a battery, so you're gonna wanna charge it, but a battery has a really long life, so you're not gonna have to charge it too often. Right here is where you're going to um, screw in the mounting hardware. You can mount it either um, on the bottom of the camera or you can mount it on the back. So depending on how you wanna install the camera, there's two different places to mount right there. So let's take a look at what else is inside the box. All right, so this sounds like some mounting hardware to me and here it is. So this will work, you can screw the screws right into the house right there, it comes with the screws that you need and then you're going to mount the camera right on the bottom here. So for example, if I was mounting it on the back, I'll just screw this right on and if you are mounting it to, on the bottom, you can screw that on as well. This is completely adjustable as well so you can really get the angle that you're looking for so that the camera is looking for exactly uh, what you need to see. So in addition to the screws, it does just come with this simple charging cord. You will need a USB block to charge this, but um, most people have that. You can also just plug into a computer or a laptop to charge the camera and get it ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the app and test out the camera. So to get the camera started to work with the app, I held down the power button on the bottom and you see the light is flickering right there. You also heard that sound, that means that the camera is ready to pair with the app. So it is in pairing mode, ready to go once the app is downloaded. So once I had the camera up and the app downloaded, the first thing you needed to do was just find your device and click on the device you're trying to connect. You can connect multiple devices if you need to. And then the app will just automatically search for the activated camera. Once it finds the camera, you do need to enter your internet information. So it will automatically find your Bluetooth and then you put in your password. A QR code comes up and you're just gonna scan that code with your camera and you will hear it beep. And then the camera and the app are completely connected. So you can see it really only took about a minute to do all of that. It was very fast and easy. Um, and there was no problems at all setting up the camera to connect with the internet and to connect with the app. It just checked the Wi-Fi signal strength and you wanna do that near the area where you're going to install the camera. So I had chosen to do this camera by the front door and that is where I'm going to be monitoring and you can see it just pops right up and the app is just ready to go. So I was actually connecting it inside my house near the front door so you can see the inside right there and you can see all the different features of the app. So you can see there's a button to take a picture, to record, you can turn it sideways for a closer up view, you can do storage to your SD card, you can also set off the siren from the app if you wanted to use the alarm feature. There's the two-way talk button right there that you can just press and talk right away. 
um, and it is very, very user friendly. So you can see here is just a video. Once I had it set up near the front door, there's the timestamp up in the top corner. You can see the date and the time of everything happening. You can see how clear that picture is. It is amazing. So you can see every little detail. You can see the leaves blowing in the trees. You can see a person walking by. And also if you have the motion detector set up on the app, it'll alert you that there is a person near your door. So you can see the app was really friendly and easy to use. The camera was super simple to set up and it's really great all around. So I hope you found this helpful and I would definitely say give this camera a try. Thanks.